Weeks upon the departure, I have been really busy preparing the boat. I went through the engine, changing various filters, oil, and generally checking that all was working fine. All woodwork on deck received teak oil. Anchor and chain had been checked, and a great number of other things that the list is too long to mention here, checked and done. All that was left now was provisioning. When you do extend sailing on a boat, not only is it important to store the provisions away in a smart way on the boat, but also make it easy to find them when you need them. The first leg of the trip from Hulst to Sebu took around 6 hours. Some of the trip we motored, but we also had pretty good winds that enabled us to use just the sails. We left Sebu around 10.30 in the morning in cloudy conditions and a good west-northwesterly nice breeze that could push us nicely up to our destination. We put up the sails and the boat took off a good speed at the right direction. The wind coming a bit from the side and behind, so we were rolling a bit. But it was just great to feel the boat doing great speed through the water. Just as we were passing out from the town of Frederick Sound, the Lesser Island ferry crossed just in front of us. And then a military vessel. Tony was preparing to try his luck with fishing. But he was not that lucky after all.
finally, we were on the way and we loved it. I've been sailing for about five and a half hours from uh, Sebi Harbor towards uh, Sweden, a uh, small island called Ostol. We have been sailing about 40, 42 nautical miles and we have 17 and a half left. So we are in the middle of a Kattegat Sea. Kattegat Sea between Sweden and Norway. Sorry, Sweden and Denmark. <laughs> and uh, everything is fine and we have winds about uh, four, almost four by four. It's uh, between three and four by four. It's, that's is uh, about uh, 15 knots, 15, uh, 17 knots. That's uh, about uh, seven, eight, uh, meters per second and uh, everything is fine very nice sailing conditions and um, sunshine has been sunshine for many hours now uh, we are approaching the west coast of Sweden and uh, yeah we should soon uh, be able to see the coast I expect so estimate time of arrival is um, at the moment is uh, something like 20 past 7 in the evening so that will be fine. So everything is fine. And Tony is sleeping. <laughs> so yeah. Super. Yes, we are entering the west coast of Sweden here now. We're just passing um, Marstrand, the castle on top. So we are entering Sweden. And uh, our destination is somewhere out there, a small island called Ostol. Arriving at your destination after many hours of sailing is a wonderful feeling. Ostol is such a fantastic little island. The feeling of entering Ostol Harbor cannot be described in words. Okay. 